Happy New Year, everybody. It is Saturday, and I am going through some articles that I'm just, I'm just, oh, I didn't even mean to do this video, but it was like, wow. Okay, so on the computer, you can go through certain things, and you'll have, you know, things that'll pop up. And I have not shaved in several days, so this is scruffy me. Scruffy me. Mm -hmm. We're going to enter 2020. I'm not growing the full beard. Not yet. Anyhow, Tiffany Howell. Tiffany Howell is a former Mickey Mouse Club star. She was on that show for a little while and possibly extorted and possibly, we don't want to say what, what, what Disney's up to half the time. But ironically enough, she has died at 46 years old on Christmas Day. Tiffany Howell, a former star of the of the all-new Mickey Mouse Club has died. Hal rose to fame as an original cast member of the all-new Mickey Mouse Club in 1989 and was later a member of the Disney-created pop music group, The Party. Okay, Hal died on, on December 25th of cardiac arrest at the age of 46, according to her former bandmates in The Party, Dee Dee, Mango, Cheese, Hampton, such and such, all those people. Uh... It is, it just talks about, you know, the morning of her gone and all that. Okay, so, okay. I'm not going to speculate what causes people just to suddenly die like that because if I'm not mistaken, we didn't have heard anything bad about her or anything. She's been just sort of chilling, doing her thing after being used and abused by Dizzy. But uh, chances are she probably got the mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to bring another one up right quick. Well, howdy, everybody. What's going on? All righty, righty, righty. Bring it on the PPP news. Hopefully, we'll have something. We're going to work on this stuff real hard together. Uh, let's see here. Big news in Wisconsin. Breaking. Exclu I've got to, I'm going to stumble over every single word because a lot of it has to do with stuff that I can't say out right here because of the fact that I just can't say it. But we're going to work around it the best we can, so bear with me. Breaking exclusive. Uh, people picking process investigators make a surprise move in Wisconsin blanket sheet with subpoenas related to the 2020 people picking process. Uh, let's see here. The investigation into the WECs or the investigation into Wisconsin's people picking process is still ongoing as special counsel Michael Gableman continues looking into how the VER in the state was carried out in the 2020 people picking process. Gableman is now issuing about 70 subpoenas to state entities and, and employees, special interest groups, private companies, mayoral staffers, and IT departments. Through, and uh, this is throughout Wisconsin to obtain records, depositions, and more information on the people picking process and organizations that seem to have had a hand in the administrations of the people picking process. So they're going to go down the line and see what happened here. Gableman, who was previously a Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice, was asked by a Speaker of the Wisconsin State Assembly, Robin Voss, to lead investigation into the 2020 people picking process that happened in the state. Gableman agreed and was appointed as special counsel. The investigation is looking into several components of what went on during the people picking process. Gableman is looking into how Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and the money he donated to the Center of Tech and Civic Life influenced the choosing. What the Wisconsin Choosing Commission was doing, the, con the conduct of the mayors the, and the muni municipal clerks, the operation of the voting machines and other factors which may have influenced the people picking process. Mm, sounds like pretty heavy stuff. Okay, article goes on to say, uh, Wisconsin people pickings are not administered by the Secretary of State like in other states. Instead, Wisconsin Government Accountability Board works in collaborate or collaboration with 1,853 municipal clerks, 72 county clerks, and numerous people picking paper inspectors during this people picking process season. Many municipal clerks throughout the state live in a very small town, but in contrast, there are clerks that have a lot of things to do. So I'm going to kind of sum this up so we don't run this video slung them to death. A lot of money. Uh, Zuckerberg put out like $350 million to communities to run the people picking processes. Uh, a total of $8.8 .8 in grants. $7 million 
uh, to make sure Clark had enough PPE, sanitation, and anything else needed to help the people in, with, the, um, with the pandemic. And then on top of that, it uh, looks like, according to the sources, each mayor of the five cities took good faith money. Racine allegedly received sixty thousand dollars, and other four cities received about ten grand apiece. Once they took this initial grant, CTCL sent questionnaires to see if the five cities then qualified for the full eight point eight million dollar grant. Whoa, lots and lots and lots and lots of dough. Boy, I tell you, you can make a lot of biscuits with that dough. Anyhow. Uh, lots of emails between the WEC members. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on with that. And so, anyhow. <laughs> All right, yeah. And so, yeah. Looks like a lot of stuff happening in Wisconsin. That's kind of behind the scenes. Now, you remember me talking about a lawsuit being that was been filed in Chattanooga, Tennessee by Tory. Maris, Tori Maris is her name, but she has a Twitch channel called Tori Says, all one word. Um, 97 days into this, and we haven't heard anything out of out of uh, attorney Mark Burnovich, who looks a lot like Don DeLuise. No, some people say he doesn't, but I do, I swear. I, Don DeLuise had a brother. Anyways, uh, I'm going to email him. I'm going to ask him to do his job. I'm going to ask him that we're all waiting. And um, if you want to help me out and email him as well, you know, I don't know how many people will see this video, but if you got a few minutes, bust out that email machine and send him a, an email, letting him know that we haven't forgotten, that uh, it's been 97 days, you've still got time to do something. We know that there's been crimes committed openly. They should not be, and they have been articles of, of, uh, of evidence brought to him to be able to file charges. Wendy Rogers is, you know, kind of like catching heck because of the fact that she's, you know, in the middle of this and it's him that's holding everything up. So, you know, if he's got an investigation going on, you know, we might be, you know, so be it, but we need to do need to also remember to keep him aware that we are watching so that maybe he keeps doing his job properly, you know, especially if he wants to win anything later on, uh, Anyways, so, uh, we'll keep our eyes peeled on all the rest of this stuff. But I think if I'm not mistaken, I did a video. I know I did a video, but I can't keep up with everything because everything gets all jumbled around in my poor little brain. But in uh, Pennsylvania, they won the, uh, they, they were able to get their people picking process machines examined. They won the court battle for that. The judge allowed that to happen. So, we'll see what's happening there. A lot of stuff happened in Pennsylvania. Some very, very easy to find, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, just don't lose faith. Don't let this act of demoralization that they're trying to pull in us take us anywhere. And most, most than all, uh, stick together. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but Roxanne got into something there. I'm going to have to uh, bust out a towel and clean that up now. So, lots of love to everybody. Uh, we're going to keep our ears, ears peeled to the ground. I also want to thank a very good friend of mine, fellow YouTuber, Shannon at Devoted Patriots. He's got great content. He's putting out a lot of videos. Um, so, you know, check him out, man. He's got great stuff. He's super awesome patriot. Working very hard to uh, do a lot of things for us. So, We'll tend to my poor little doggy over here. And um, y'all have a good New Year's, happy New Year's weekend. Uh, God bless all you. God is in control. We're going to be fine. We're working hard. So, yeah, email. Oh, yeah, email Mark Bernovich. Email that. Get on him. Email the crap out of him. Say, we want you to do your job. There's no reason to stop now. So, email, email, email. Uh, make the thing, make that computer swell up. When he comes into work, we want to see the whole computer like swell up twice its size because the RAM is just, is like, ah, I can't handle it anymore. Just put it all in there. I want that, you know, anyways, lots of love. Take it easy.